G'day guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to add DNS folders to your DNS server on Windows Server 2012, which is the same on Server 2012 R2 and also the same on the Essentials versions. I'm using the Essentials version just because I've got it installed. So first you're going to want to look up um, the DNS manager. So if you just type in DNS to the start box, click DNS, then you'll see your DNS server which this is it. Oh, you want to be logged into the DNS server too before all of this. Right click on that and go properties. So that's the actual server name up there. And then you'll have this little thing here, forwarders. So at the moment it's just using the one that it's got out of DHCP and it's got root hints if no forwarders are available. So we're going to edit that list and add in Google's DNS which is 8.8.8.8 as it sees it's got that, we'll add in the other one as well oh, whoops 8.8.4.4 and as you can see they're all validated so now if this DNS doesn't work it'll look here and here hit OK and apply see done so it's got the router then it's also got the Google's public DNS so now if you hit OK that's all done so that was how to add a DNS forwarder so basically what that means is that if this DNS server here if something queries it and it doesn't know where it is like it's not something locally that's in side of here's jaken.local say your domain is if it's not one of these things that it finds it will forward the dns request off to the dns folder and then it will know what address that domain name is anyway don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos thank you